Hello all and welcome to another vlog. I'm Pierre Farrugia and today I'm with Angelo. Today we're going to visit the Paleo Christian catacombs here in uh, Salini, limits of Nashar. I uh, hope it, they will be very interesting. So let's start our adventure. What do you think, Gant? Yes. Let's so let's go. From the sign to the catacombs, you only have to walk around 100 meters maximum. Uh, as you can see, these catacombs we have here, from the limited information I can find online, uh, they, are the, they were built around 1,500 years ago. So they have some uh, archaeological uh, importance to Malta. As you can see, it uh, has a lot of chambers. We have reached the main area of the catacombs. As you can see here. And we're going to explore one by one. Look how nice this area is. And they are not so small. You see? With windows, doors. Anybody has any information about this site? This must be a burial ground or something. See? And look at the detail. And there, they even have stairs. Huh? From this chamber, look at the details of everything there is here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now we're going into the second chamber. And now we are in the second chamber uh, of these catacombs. And Angelo was telling me that uh, here where they used to bury their loved ones. And uh, this opening is very, very small. And I'm a little bit big, so it was difficult to go in. But come with me to see this place. Look, how nice. Huh? Impressive, eh? Very impressive. As you can see, it's very elaborate and you have a lot to see here. Our advice, as always, is you come here and you don't disturb or damage anything. These have very historical values here. These were burying burial chambers. It's an impressive eh, this place. It's a pity that people, if they come here, they do any damage. Look to the detail everywhere here. See? In this hole, I don't know if it goes all the way to the other part. From here, we go out to visit the next place. This was the first chamber we visited. This is the second. Now we're going to do the third. The third, the opening, is a more decent size that one can go in. <clears throat> I am impressed eh? with this place. It's so beautiful. So many burial chambers. <clears throat> and look at the detail and these beautiful carved windows. I've never seen something like this in Malta. Definitely, maybe there here, there used to be a candle or something or some type of light. <coughs> but you can go 
around the river here in this chamber those are like some windows and here this looks like the main part but it's beautiful eh? now let's go and continue to another chamber as I was telling you before this is the fourth chamber we are visiting now it's another interesting burial chamber as you can see the opening they are very small compared to a human being and getting in is not so much easy but it's negotiable and uh, being big makes it even harder so let's try to get in this is the view inside here as you can see on your right there are three chambers one two three and with windows and if we go to this side we have another three beautiful chambers the inside part it's very elaborate eh? these are inside of the chambers this is where we came from these are the three barrier posts and uh, with their windows you can peek through the window as well now if we walk to the other part we have another one here another one here and we have these three going to that side very interesting yeah? and they even have stairs yeah. you can go this way uh, with all shelves and from here you can look inside because the like the ceiling has collapsed from here you see this is from the top we well, have the, the first part of the catacombs. What do you think, Anj? It's very nice, yeah? Very interesting, the place, although it's, it's a small area. When you come here, it's a small area. But when you enter these uh, catacombs, they are very beautiful, yeah? Yeah, I, I, am, very, I am surprised eh, how beautiful these are. I must visit. And as we always say, if you visit these places, please take great care to leave everything as you find. Don't damage anything. It's part of our history. Remember, these are about 1,500 years old now, eh? So we continue to do the other places. Now we are going to the second site. Here we found the second catacomb, but it's closed, if I'm not mistaken, by Heritage Malta. Well, here is the second catacomb. Obviously it's closed, but as you can see, it's very similar to the others. Yeah, now we are walking off to try to find the other. Oh, yeah, there's another opening there. And now we have to visit. Yeah. Well, now we are in the second site. Uh, it's not well maintained. Actually, this is the third because the second one is closed. Uh, it's not well maintained like the first ones, but it's still very nice to visit. How would we visit this place? And as you can see, it's very low as well. This is the entrance you came from. And this is inside the second side. As you can see, it's beautiful like the others. It's not clean like the others. The pity is that some people put some plastic in these historical sites, which is something crazy. Let's try to get inside. Because here it's very shallow to get in. Not like other places. There's another chamber. And here is another chamber. These small details are, look at this. Krem Shula, we call it in Maltese. A Here. You have to duck down. This is where we came from. 
and these are the chambers at least here yeah. and here we need to go out so, but now we are getting out you have to duck very low because here is very tight yeah. these like car ruts going to this side and on this side there are other ruts as well or carves in the rock if you walk to this side these stones look like they have been worked or carved in some times of building blocks you see here it's like the base of something else we have uh, reached the end of our blog hope you enjoyed today it was me pierre farruja and angelo please subscribe to our other channels we have uh, many adventures between each other today we are here at salini at this archaeological site it's very interesting and we're going to end our vlog here where there are these like cart ruts until next time bye bye